Hello everyone, my name is Darren Pantoja, and for today's episode, we'll talk about the use ban on privacy coins. So firstly, what are privacy coins? So most blockchains, as we know, they are transparent in nature. They allow you to scanners to verify who is a receiver, a sender, and the amount that was sent. While privacy coins are designed to obscure these details. So you won't have a scanner and you will not be able to see with the receiver, the sender, and the amount that was being transacted. This happens to advanced cryptographic techniques, just as ring signatures, that's what Monero uses. And basically, instead of just having one direct address uh, for the sender and the receiver, it has various groups of addresses uh, for both hands. So it's virtually impossible for someone to trace back and say, this is the exact address that uh, was sent to send this amount to that other address. Uh, another cryptographic technique is the zero knowledge. It's what you have for shielded transactions in Zcash. This is basically a party verifying a statement uh, to be truth or not. Um, and you don't need to provide extra information. So, for instance, we want to ask, is this person above the age of 18? The answer should be only yes or no, not yes, this person was born in this day on that month of set year. That is irrelevant information because at the end of the day, you just need to know if this person is above the age of 18, yes or no. The most famous um, coins that are in privacy are Monero, Zcash, Dash, and of course, most recently, Good. Now, what's actually happening inside of the EU? I know this is a topic that a lot of people hear here and there, but don't have much background on what actually is happening. So basically, the EU is aiming to ban uh, the handling, trading and use of privacy coins by 2027, July 10th. This is aimed as part of the framework on anti money laundering um, Regulator, regulations and the ban is aimed at crypto asset providers known as CASPs. Now, crypto asset providers include centralized exchanges such as Binance, Crypto.com, Kraken, uh, but also decentralized exchanges. So the platforms that we usually use uh, on most um, for yields and for um, staking on most blockchains like uh, Solana as Orca, Radon, um, on Ethereum we have Uniswap, Binance had PancakeSwap, those would also be affected by this regulation, meaning that they would not be able to handle and list uh, privacy coins. It's important to note that individual uh, ownership and use is not formally banned. And I think it's very important to understand the word formally here. When I say formally, I mean, they're not directly banning this. They're not directly banning you from having a personal wallet, owning Zcash or Monero, and even transacting with that cash. The thing is, they are banning the platforms that you use to do so. You can still do it peer to peer, but you will not have the interface like you had nicely through centralized exchanges, decentralized exchanges, or even mixers. They're basically stripping away the tools for these transactions to happen. Now, this is something that really pains me because not only they're banning the actual privacy coins, but they could potentially be also banning the technology that they come with. Zero knowledge proof is something that I'm very bullish about, and I thought it could be an actual replacement for KYC because it provides information that is needed for regulators, but not too much information like we talked uh, on, I think it was last week uh, during chat control. Uh, a show or episode uh, that you have on the Portuguese national ID, your mother's maiden name. If some company wants to know if I'm above the age of 18, that's all they should know. They should not have access to my mother's maiden name. That's crazy, in my opinion. And by banning these coins, it could be creating a precedent to also ban the technology that they came with. KYC is now made mandatory. Now we seem to be establishing on having surveillance over our methods of communication. And it seems that transactions are coming afterwards. 
So this is really stripping us away of our privacy as a human right and as regulated on our Constitution of the European Union on Article Number 7. And it's getting scary to me, you know, quite frankly. However, I must say that I've seen a huge, huge rise on the interest for privacy and privacy online across the past couple of years. So with these bills going forward and more people growing unhappy and understanding how actually their privacy is being infringed, I hope that we can incite some change. It, it's having conversations like this and shows like this that I believe we can start those conversations. Because at least here in Portugal, we don't have overall media uh, talking or discussing these topics. We don't have people outside on our day-to-day -day discussing these topics because they're not made aware of things like chat control or even the ban of privacy coins and what it actually can mean for their future. The ban of um, zero knowledge can come with the ban of privacy coins. And that is something that I think people should be aware and start having these conversations uh, everywhere. I think that's one of the most important things. So that's it for today's episode. I hope it's a little bit more clear on what's happening inside of EU regarding privacy coins. And uh, till then, remember friends, this is all off the record. The <laughs>